What's up guys? I've been here. I'm here to teach you how to flamingo. AKA the brain surgeon. That's what they used to call it back in the old days. 70s, 80s. I learned this trick when I first started watching Mike Villelli uh, skate parts. And uh, I, I think it was on a Tony Hawk and Mike V trick tip when they were talking about this, the flamingo. When I saw it, I thought it was really cool. So, what they don't tell you when learning this trick, be prepared. You might get a lot of shinners. Uh, I have the scars to back it. And yeah, it really hurts. Took me, took me a whole day to learn this trick, to do it right. There's ways of doing it like this off the nose. And then you go around. And I used to do it like that, but it just didn't feel right because what you're doing right there is the front foot's on the nose, the back foot is in this pressure. And think of a, a teeter-totter. You know those long benches and two kids sit on each side? Well, all your weight is gonna be right here. There's gonna be a weight right here and they're on the opposite sides. Now, when you slide your foot off, it's gonna do a popping motion and then you gotta do this to wrap it around your calf. I didn't like doing it that way because the grip ribs up, uh, rubs up against the back of your calf and you can get cuts like that and it's not cool. So the right way to do a flamingo, you can do it any way, but I'd rather do it this way because I don't want to get cut. So same thing what I was talking about, the teeter-totter. The weight is going to be distributed on different sides of the board. Right here on the back of the tail, you have your whole foot on it and the front foot is going to be on the edge because you want to be quick to slide it off and pop. You want that popping sensation. So, you know, you could do that a few times. If you know how to no comply, it's kind of similar as the popping motion, but we're not going to do anything with this forward or any of that motion. We're going to think about scooping and wrapping around the cap. So just do this a few times, right, just to know what you're doing. And when you're ready, think about the wrapping. So, that's, you know, if you can't land it, practice the wrapping motion. Let's do it. Watch out, camera. That's what you want. And when you're ready, you're going to wind up. So after you wrap, you're gonna wind up, so when you unwrap it, you can guide it with your back foot. So you're gonna do this. So keep popping, keep popping. All right. When you're ready, wrap. Okay, I got one foot, wrap. Okay, when you're confident, go for it. Pop on it, what's the worst that can happen? It's on flat, right? That's how a flamingo should look. You can take it off. Little curves, parking curves. The higher you pop it and jump with it, you can take it on anything. You can take it off a stair set if you want. Take it off anything. I hope this works. Let me know. Comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if I gave you a good trick tip. And if you're practicing this and you get some shinners, beware, I, I told you so. So, uh, you might wear shin guards or, I don't know, or you just want to just ball out. Go for it. I hope you get it. Good luck.